Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, a G major chord, um, and it's going to be first finger on fret five of the D, your third finger barred across um, from the seventh fret of the G to the seventh fret of the high E. So we should have that so far. And then you're going to put your little finger on to the eighth fret of the B. So you're going to then do a roll starting with your thumb on the D string. And then we're going to do a picking pattern which is D, G, B. Okay. You're going to go back to the D, then up to the high E, and then you're going to go D, G. So it's roll, D, G, B, D, E, D, G. We're going to end that little phrase with a hammer on from the fifth fret of the high E with the first finger to the seventh fret of the E with the third finger. So that's going to go like this in total. I'll count you in. One, two, three. Okay, so the next thing we've got is a D major chord, which is going to be your first finger on fret five of the high E, your little finger on fret seven of the B, and your third finger on fret seven of the G. We're going to start with a pinch between the thumb and the third finger on the high E. And then it's a similar pattern. So you've got D and E, D, G, B, D, E, and at the end we've got D, B. So it's a little bit different. So again, pinch, D and E, D, G, B, D, E, D, B. Okay, so the uh, after the hammer-on, the pattern will go like this. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come down to an E minor shape um, and that's going to be putting your first finger barred from the second fret of the D to the second fret of the high E. We're then going to take the third finger and put that on the fourth fret of the G, the little finger on the 5th fret of the B and the 2nd finger is going to go on the 3rd fret of the high E. Now that will also be doing a hammer on in a minute and that's why we've got the bar with the 1st finger. Okay, So we're going to play a roll from the D string with the thumb. Okay, Then we're going to come from the low E hit the G then the B and then back to the low E. So that was roll, low E, G, B, E and then the high E string. Okay, then we hit the low E again, then the G with the first finger and then we're going to do third finger on the high E and we're going to take off that second finger and hammer on. Okay. E, G, hammer on. So all in all, roll. Okay, so this is really simple now. What we've got is B minor chord exactly that we did before. You're going to play thumb on the A pinched with the E and then you're going to basically go over A, D, G, B, E. So it's pinch and then all of your strings in order. That's simple. One, two, three. D major over to your E minor D 
Enfim, Mara. Ok, so this next little tiny bit is quite easy. Um, the part that comes after it is a bit of a stretch, but I'm breaking it down into two parts again so you can practice them separately. Um, you're going to leave your little finger on from where it was on that B minor chord on the same fret, same string, and you can prepare your first finger on that same string on the second fret, and that's going to play just after. So with your index finger, you're going to play the G twice, then you're going to take the little finger off and play the second fret, and then pull it off to the open G. So together. Then, you're going to put your second finger on the low E string, fret 3, okay? And we've got this little pattern, which is going to go E, D, G, D, B, okay? E, D, G, D, B, then E. G with your index finger. So from your little fourth fret of the G to pull off, second finger down to the third fret of the E. Okay, so what we've got here is two chords. We have an A7 sus4 with an E in the bass and then we have a B7 sus4 but with the F sharp in the bass and the best way to play it in my opinion is to use your third finger on the second fret of the D and then your little finger on the third fret of the B and what you can do then is just move straight from that into the bar chord shape afterwards makes sense. So back to that shape I just said, what's going to happen here is we're going to hit the low E and then we're going to do a small roll between the thumb on the D and the second finger on the B. Okay. And then what happens after that? Dead simple, we're going to do E, D, G, B, E. So you get this E, roll, E, D, G, B, E, and then we're going to slide up two frets, and we're going to bar the entire second fret. Now sometimes this will really ache your wrist and the finger, and you might get a muted string here and there, sometimes happens to me. but practice you can improve the uh, the pressure there and you're just going to do basically that same pattern again you're going to go E D G B E okay there you go just happened to me so you're going from there um, yeah don't forget the little roll at first E roll For the last chord now, uh, before it repeats, we're going to do a shorter version of that B minor we did before. Uh, we're going to put the first finger on fret 2 of the A string, the third finger on fret 4 of the G, and the second finger on fret 3 of the B. And we're going to be doing that thing where we lift up the first finger to get the open string and pull down to the second fret. And the, the pattern's dead simple now. It's going to go A, G, B, open E, second fret of the E, pulled down. And then to end, we're going to hit the A, and then the G. That's simple. Okay, so now we've got a repeat, 
of the G, the D, E minor, B minor, and then you do the little um, four to pull off thing. You put your second finger down onto the low E, fret three. Now, it goes to that A7 sus4 again with an E in the bass. It's exactly the same, except I want you to change your fingers here to first finger on the second fret of the D and your third finger on the third fret of the B. Reason being that the shape we're going to go to next is that F sharp minor that we did in the first section of the song. And in, in my opinion, going from that to that is a little bit easier than going from that to that. So it's just more efficient, make your life easier. So yeah, put the shape on with the first and the third finger. You're going to do the low E and you roll. Now this time you're going to go E, D, G, then open B. You're going to take that third finger off there. So you've got your uh, E, roll, then open B. Then we're going to go to this F sharp minor, okay? You're going to pinch the thumb with the second finger. And then you're going to go thumb, thumb, one, two. And that was the E string, the D string, the G string, and the B string. Okay, so I'm just going to do that again for you. A7 sus4 with the E in the bass. E, roll, E, D, G, open B. F sharp minor, pinch the E and B. E, D, G, B. Last thing you need to learn, and then you've got it. You're going to take that shape that we did before at the end of lesson one that just came before the modulation. It's on screen. You're gonna start with a pinch between the thumb on the A and the B string. And you're gonna go A, D, hammer on, B, A, D, hammer on, B. Like before, you should be okay with that and then just before you think it's going to finish the same, you're going to go A, D with your thumb, stop there, you're going to come up to the 12th fret of the G, and you're going to do a harmonic there. And you're going to do a harmonic on the 7th fret of the D, and then you're going to end with a harmonic on the 12th fret of the B. And I like to sort of Pull the headstock back a little bit there for some vibrato. Um, if you don't know what harmonic is, we lightly touch the string directly above the fret wire, not in the fret or just behind, like we would place the finger directly on top. You don't press too hard and you just get this nice harmonic ringing out. So one more time, that was the 12th fret of the G, 7th fret of the D. 12th fret of the B. One, two, three. D major. E minor. B minor. A7 sus4 with the E in the bass, up to the uh, B7 sus4 with the F sharp in the bass, and then that B minor. Second repeat, so to your G, D major, E minor. B minor. We go to that A7 sus4 with the E in the bass but with the different finger in. F 
sharp minor. And that final chord. Harmonics. There you go. We've completed it. Now, you've got to practice it. And then leave your link below to your video. Uh, it's quite a trek. It's more high paced than the Star Wars one. Um, but it's fun. It's good. So enjoy it. And uh, subscribe, comment, like, thumb, share, all that. I appreciate it. Um, that's why I do this, obviously. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the season. See you soon.